Welcome back! I'm some guy you've never heard of, and this is Holy Roman Empire, Europa Universalis 3. So last time we let, uh, we... You know, I'm not entirely sure what we were doing last time. I'm pretty sure we were working on lowering our infamy, considering it's only 9 point something, and then it looks like we just launched a ton of imperialist wars. Oh yes, of course I launched these imperialist wars, because I am, of course, trying to reclaim old Roman territory. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on here. That's why I'm invading Aragon to try to take this area here so I can get into Hispania. I mean, why else would I be invading Great Britain if not to take everything south of Hadrian's Wall? And I should probably start absorbing some of my vassals that are in Old Roman territory. Like, Krakow would be fine. Um, but... Like, Switzerland is gonna need to get, um, eaten. Same with Sardinia and Naples. Although Naples is going to give me a bunch of colonies, but oh well. Byzantium has a colony down there? Oh, good for them. That's another one I'll have to absorb. Alright, I'm almost at war with Corfu, so let's take a look here. Uh, Great Britain is Great Britain and Corfu. Okay. Um... Am I actually... Oh, that's why I'm at war with them. Because I want to solidify my coastline up here. So I don't want to take Uspressen. Among other things. And then... Aragon and Norway got involved in that one? Okay, that's why I'm at war with Norway. Cool. And then... Morocco. Because, you know... Africa. The Mamluks exist again? I'm going to have to attack and um, conquer them again. Alright, so he's down here. He's taking Gopsa. You should go deal with... Uh... Yeah, you should go deal with that army there. Okay, do I have... I have two invading into Aragon. Looks like I... I've pretty much defeated Aragon. Let me guess, they have, uh, colonies? There's gotta be a reason I only have 50%- Oh! Wait. Do they have colonies? Are there Aragonese colonies? Yes. They've got this large swath of, uh, Africa here. They've got a tiny piece of Africa there. Ooh, they have... Core territory over here. In Miztec, Mixtec, and Zapotec. Interesting. Let's see. Take Uslin, Girona, Pyreneo, Aragon, and Valencia. That's too much. I take just those three. They would go for that. Well, we're just going to have to let that war drag on. Um and hope our vassals take more of the enemy's territory. If we knock uh, Norway out of that war, then we'll have a higher war score with them. Uh, yeah, let's make white peace with Norway. Norway is in that war, right? Yeah, okay. No, I'm just going to offer them white peace. Offer white peace to Norway. Oh. Of course, need to adjust the game speed. I have five colonists right now. What am I... Am I working... Do I have any active colonies? Visayas, and I've got someone traveling to... Sunda. 
Okay. We could probably expand South America because it's been a while. Or Africa. Yeah, I'm going to send someone to the Ivory Coast. And I've got someone traveling to Visayas right now. Okay, cool. Oh no, I failed in Sunda. Well, I'm sending someone else again. Okay, Norway accepted the white piece. So now let's see what our war score is with Aragon. 79%. That's better. Adding Valencia would still be too much, though. Well, I'm not going to end this without taking Valencia. Hey. I don't have anyone invading England yet, do I? No, I do not. Why is this army so weak? I'm not sure, but oh well. Um... You, march into... Wait. Aragon has Schleswig. Okay. Interesting. I'm at war with Denmark, but so is Aragon. Interesting. Lithuania. We want to take Uspresum. Probably. Oh, because that would connect Cherson. If I take these two as well. Well, let's continue this war. Let's see if I can't get you at practically 100%. Alright, you go deal with that Lithuanian army and then go up to Kiev. You stay in their capital, Vilna. My fleet is still- wait. Am I not at war with them? No, I'm not at war with them. I just thought I was at war with Denmark, because I saw the Danish flag there, but that's also Aragonese. Okay. Corfu- You're nuts, Corfu. That's not happening. In fact, where's my... That's the European fleet up there. Okay. Let's see, that's Morocco's piece of Norway up there. Um, you go down to the Gulf of Toronto. You march to Jania. Okay. You go up to Gascon. You go to Languido. Once that fleet has seen, overseen um, the Arabic legions crossing into Corfu, then it's going to start ferrying people towards Great Britain. Alright, Schleswig is now in Danish hands. We'll have to wait for them to make peace with Denmark then. Alright, you go deal with the army in Constantine. Alright, and Aragon took, uh, accepted peace from Denmark. They gave back that Danish territory. Alrighty. It's not actually worrisome. Um, that also makes my war score quite a bit higher now. So, now I can take all of that land. Can I make them give up any of their claims on my stuff? Minamoto has Mozambique. That's interesting. Well, I really don't care about your claims in uh, Africa and the New World. So yeah, we're just gonna make you give up 
most of your Iberian territory except for your capital. Nice. We're coming for you soon, Spain. Right. Where's the fleet? It's still taking a while. I should ferry another fleet over to North Africa as well. Oh, I've taken Vilna. Awesome. You can go down to Minsk then. Oh no, you should go to Podlius. Let's see. Podlesi. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. You know the drill. I don't know all of these cultures' uh, pronunciation rules or whatnot, and I'm sorry for the mistakes I make. Alright, go attack that Lithuanian army. Oh no, family secret again. And I am completely neglecting non-war issues. I wonder how long I've been sitting at five magistrates. Um, no, scold him publicly. Alright, what shall we build? We should work on our colleges. In Newmark, and Brandenburg, and Drupin, Lüneburg, Brunswick. All right, we've taken Gascon. How's this army doing? It's not quite resupplied yet. But we do still have a ridiculous amount of manpower, so yeah. That's good. Should I be working on my Fort 4s? No. I'll just work on these things. Okay, let's get another college. What is my quest right now anyway? Conquer Gafsa. Okay. Which I'm working on. So I'll get a core on that. That's awesome. Uh, just a salt bone. Good job. Hodlasi is now in our hands. And we're trading in copper, and we've converted the heretics of Barwa. Awesome, now go to Minsk. You go to... Cherson. Follow that um, Lithuanian army. Yay! Successful colonists in the Ivory Coast. Let's send another. Great Britain is offering white peace. No. I haven't even invaded, I haven't even invaded you yet. Lithuania will cede Ruthenia, Trakai, and Uspreston. No, we're, we're good for right now. Um, have my vassals up here been doing anything? Oh, I didn't call them to that war. No wonder they're not waging war for me. Hey, um, Wales. Um, are any of my vassals involved in my wars? Did I just decide to let my vassal... I guess I just decided to let my vassals, like... Be at peace? Okay then. Cool. That does, of course, still mean I do have these beachheads that I can land at easily. So that's cool. Um, are you at the Gulf of Toronto already? There we go, finally. You march on to Corfu. Lithuania accepted peace with someone. Visayas failed. Uh, well, let's send someone else. You now... Go to the channel. Oh, who am I gaining a core a claim on? Brittany. Excellent. Oh no, our pioneers died. I don't like the looks of any of those. 
Um, what do I have right now? I have I have a diplomat and a grand marshal. I don't definitely don't need a grand marshal anymore. Um, high judge is always good. I can't do anything that requires naval stuff. Which sucks, which means I can't replace my pioneer. Um, I guess we'll just go with a high judge. I mean, it's a good thing to have in place, especially if I'm bent on conquests. Right, let's get a college in Dresden, and in Leipzig, and in Munchen, and Thuringen. Alright, and Corfu is in my hands. Oh, I don't have... Ugh. I'm not going to annex them. Because I don't have the uh I don't have the C B against them, so it would cost me the full infamy score. I will make them cut their deals with Great Britain and become reformed. There we go. Now Corfu's out of the war. I'm just gonna have to invade them at some point. But I should probably eat Moria first. I mean Byzantium first. Yeah, let me work on my relationship with Byzantium. I mean, since I'm trying to be the Empire, since I am the Empire, I really don't need the Eastern Empire still around. The Siege of Minsk is in my hands. Excellent. Go down to Polesia. Oh. Go up to Kiev. And then to Poltava. Oh, there was a Battle of the Channel, which my fleet handily won, of course. Right. You get on the fleet. And land in Cornwall. You go to the fleet. Our decision to invest in quality has made our army seem more impressive in the eyes of our neighbors. We rule. Okay. Uh, Alright, there are sound duels for, dues from uh, Denmark. Well, we shall pay now as we have for decades. I don't want to lose merchants in, in uh, Lubeck. Alright. You just assault Cornwall. And let's get our buildings going. Let's go ahead and get more colleges in Bamberg, Schwaben, Wurzenberg, and Bregrisel. Which I know I am completely butchering. Breisgau. Breizga? Is that a diphthong or two different vowel sounds? I'm pretty sure the GAU is just gal. But I could be wrong. I could be quite wrong. Alright, and we've taken Cornwall. Now move on to Wessex. Oh no. Oh, well, I guess we need that, uh, that Grand Marshal again now. So our king has died, and now we have a new king, Christian Albrecht von Holstein, and there's a revolt in Orleans. Oh, and there's a, a uh, rise of a pretender, with only 
5,000 troops. Alright, you. Go march down and deal with the Pretender. And now we have a Frederick Wilhelm as the uh, heir. Nice. I mean, it wasn't Prussia that uh, did this, but a uh, nice nod to them there. Alright, we've taken Poltava, we've gained cores on Tabok, Mecca, Asir, and Negev. Mecca is now a core province of the Holy Roman Empire. Awesome. And, um, Muslim world, you are still completely welcome to travel and make your pilgrimage to the Kaaba. That is absolutely fine. We will not persecute you, and like I've stated before, we will guarantee, we will, uh, protect your uh, pilgrims. Alright, you attack Palacia. You go to Kursk. Alright. Oh, I'm totally ignoring the war in Morocco. Oh my god! Go crush those people in Constantine. Send someone else to the Ivory Coast. Um, Naples did something. Siege of Polesia is in Holy Roman Empire. Cool. Aw, our Ivory Coast colony was damaged. Lame. Alright. You go deal with that revolt. Alright, um, you can just assault Kent. Nice, now march into London. You can assault Wessex. Perfect. Aw, Sunder failed. Well, let's send someone then. There's a revolt in Poitou, we've taken Wessex, okay, now march into Cornwall and deal with those British troops. You go deal with this revolt. And we've taken Kursk. Excellent, and we won a battle in the channel. You go to Chernigov, and you <sighs> try to hunt down this uh, Lithuanian army, which has grown to a ridiculous size. Um... Visayas produces Chinaware. Awesome. That is great news. Alright, a college in Constance and Elsass, Salzburg, and Falls. I'm getting really tired of all these fast moving armies. Rebels successful. I told you to go there. Oh, we take in Chernigov. Which I believe means we now occupy the entirety of Lithuania. Is there something of theirs I don't occupy? Is there something not connected to the... Oh! Lithuania has a colony. Interesting. Good for them. I mean, they're about to lose their only port, but... <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so we're taking Ustrasen. So we're going to take Ruthenia and Pod Podolia. Um, what else shall I take from you? Lothiana? Trakai? That'd be too much. I could take Tricot. I mean, I could just take uh, Podlesi. What if I don't take Bolonia and I take Tricai? That's 88. How about Kiev? Oh, wow. Kiev is worth 40% of the war score. Awesome. Go Kiev. 
What if I do that? Can I take Kev then? <clears throat> I could. But I'm not going to. I'll just take those five and... So can I make them release anyone? Prussia. But that's territory that I wanted to take anyway, so never mind. Um... <clears throat> All right, give me those five pieces of land and your treasury. All right, there we go. We've taken a bunch of Lithuanian territory. Nice. And our coast here is no longer interrupted by foreign power. Alright, who did I say I was going to work on annexing? Byzantium, that's right. Let's send them another gift. Wurttemberg University. Sick Oculus and all that. Um, Let's go ahead and build the... Now let's build the embassy in Trakai. It's one of my newest provinces. So there we go. Alright, college in Baden. And Mainz. And Wurzburg. We'll send that person to the administration. And then have them build a college in Hessen. Oh, Pisa University. Nice. What is Great Britain offering? White peace. That's not happening in Great Britain. And I keep forgetting about the war in here. Because I keep sending my army to try to deal with the Moroccan army. And then the Moroccan army runs away. And yeah. I make no progress. Okay. You go to the Gulf of Lion. Oh, Kazan declared war on us. Kazan is Crimea? Anything else? Oh, they also have a piece of land way out in the middle of the steps there. Well, not the middle of the steps. I mean... But, yeah. Oh, and because they attacked me, all my vassals have gotten involved as well. Are they nomads? No, because I can make them give up things. Well, it's a defensive war, so I might as well try to take Crimea from them. I mean, and if I'm going to absorb Byzantium, I don't want Kaffa just sitting there as an exclave, so there we go. Although I'm not going to be able to uh, incorporate them now that they're at war. Let's try to make a royal marriage. Nope, they declined. Alright. Westfallen, have a college. And Trier, have a college. Oh, and Jollyards have come to their aid. Well, I don't even border Jollyards, so there we go. They gotta travel through other people's territory to get to me. Alright, have... A gift Byzantium. No, we're not sending someone else to the Ivory Coast this time. Alright, let's raise taxes higher in Alexandria. Convert the heretics of Rhodes. Awesome. And we finally put down that revolt in Orleans. Alright, how are my troops in Great Britain doing? You somehow failed to crush the army there. Follow them to Wessex, then. I need to micromanage my armies more. Follow them to Oxford. You, Austrian Legion, get on the boats. Alright, we've taken Berska. 
go deal with the the Moroccans in Gafsa and then travel up to Kabylia. Right, we've got a siege of Crimea. Oh, we've taken Crimea. Excellent. All right then. Fleet. Who's this over here? Oh, that's Britain. Who's that up there? That's more Morocco. What's that? Fez? Interesting. Um. I'm gonna drop you in. Actually, no, I will drop you in Tangiers. You go into Tangiers, then you'll go south into the British territory. Oh, and the Mamluks declared war against me. Oh, and Algiers and Fez are assisting them. Okay. I don't have an army anywhere near the Mamluks. Great. Um... Check Legion. March down to Nile. I know it's going to take you a while, but that's okay. Um, you did not catch them, and they some... Oh, because there's... Yeah. There's a strait they can cross from Essex to Kent. Got it. Uh, yeah, just stay there and besiege Oxford. Um, you assault London already. Take it. Yay. Now go deal with the army in Kent. Good job. Yay! Success in Visayas. We'll send someone else there. Alright, then you can go march up to... K yeah. March to Kent. I mean Essex. We've converted the heretics of Roma. Perfect. I should move my capital to Roma. Oh, it's not a core. I can't move my capital when it's not a core. I'd really make myself the Roman Empire at that point. I mean, I'm not legitimately the Roman Empire if Rome's not my capital. And yes, I will die on that, on that hill. The moment the capital moved to uh, Constantinople and Ravenna... That was no longer Rome. Some of our copper mines have hit some low standard ores. This has pushed up the cost of artillery units in our nation. I am disappointed. I am. That is quite disappointing. Go deal with the revolt in Poteau. Tangiers is in my hands. Okay, go over to Quetta. <clears throat> Just go ahead and assault Kabylia. Perfect. Oxford's in our hands as well. Go over to Gloucester. I mean, that, that's how you say that, right? That is Gloucester. I mean, I know it's written Gloucester... Gloucestershire, but... Uh, yeah. British is weird. Um... Ooh, I like the, where Holy Roman Empire is positioned now. That's cool. Holy Roman Empire there. I've got decisions I can... Joint stock companies. I can always go back to free uh, trade later. There we go. That's fine. Alright, send some more money to Byzantium. But once the wars are over, I'm going to try to annex them. Oh, which reminds me. Hazan. Give me Crimea. You say no. Okay. Jollyards. Let's make white peace. 
Hazan. Give me Crimea. And give up your claim on Cherson. And Kaffa. And give me a bunch of cash. And there we go. <clears throat> We've now taken Crimea. Alright, let's get a college in Hanout. And Brabant. And Liege. And Luxembourg. Britain is offering white peace. What makes you think I would offer I would accept such a small peace offer? How are my troops? They're almost to the Nile. Alright. Actually don't go to Nile, go to a soot since there are Mamluk troops sitting there again. And rest of the world, could you stop making the Mamluks exist again? I've been them, what, like three times so far? The Black Sea trade is... Oh, that's right. Because I control the straits here. I get bonuses. I get, like, trade bonuses in all of my pro provinces along the Black Sea. And I just gained a new one, so there we go. Alright. Go ahead and assault Gloucester. Go ahead and assault Essex. You go march south to Biskra and then down to Aris. You oh, Granada is leading this um, siege. That's what's going on there. We took Gloucester and Essex. Excellent. Um, you just march down to Fez then. Just out of curiosity. I could take all of that from Morocco. They would accept it right now. Well, I'm not gonna... What is my infamy limit? 51.7. Forgot that I need to keep an eye on that. I can't... I can't just take everything that I want. Yeah, let's go ahead and make peace with Morocco then. Alright. We'll take Bone, Kabilia, and Gafza. Um. Six. No, we'll settle for those three. You'll give up your cores on Gabes and Sirt and Tunis. And you'll give me your treasury. Perfect. And we gained a core on Gafsa. Now it wants us to conquer Yazgod. Which, I mean, I was going to want to do eventually anyway. So there we go. You now can go ahead and invade Aljazar. Instead of heading to Fez, you can head to... Pubkal... Could I get Great Britain to give me at the moment? I mean, I'd really like to take those. I definitely want to take Gascon. I don't want them to be on mainland Europe anymore. Um, okay, this is the minimum that I want to aim for. Gloucester, Cornwall, Wessex, and Kent and Gascon, because then I will kick them off of mainland Europe, and I will control the channel. Although, I mean, if I could take Oxford and Essex as well, actually if I don't take Gascon, I could take, I could do that. So that London is isolated next time, but uh, 
No, it's fine. I still have to beat them more, though. Alright, you go ahead and go march into the Nile now. Uh, you go up to Norfolk, and you go to the marches. Right, we took the marches. Oh, we took the Nile already. You go ahead and assault Norfolk. You can go up to Lancashire. You go to Lincoln. Oh, we took Tobacall. Okay. You go down to Marrakesh. Oh, no. Dang it. Okay, send someone else there. I want my Holy Roman East Indies. Okay, this one's Sumatra, and this one is... Um, I forget the name. Uh, Jakarta, right? No, Java. Jakarta is a city on Sumatra, right? Please, someone who knows their Indonesian uh, geography, correct me. And let's build a couple more colleges. Oh no, poor vintage. Lame. Alright, you go down to Karga, which I've taken already, and then go down to Ibrim. Oh, we took Aljazar. Good, and Ibram. It would cost me six infamy. That's perfectly fine. We will once again annex the Mamluks. And expand further down into Egypt and Nubia. Yeah, why don't you go up to Nile for right now? Oh, I've got places I could send missionaries now. I've got lots of places I could send missionaries right now. Uh, we'll send one to Ustpressen. And one to Trikai. And Podlasi. And Druthenia. And... Podolia. Perfect. Go ahead and get colleges in Gev and Kas and Kassel. I'm now at 38 infamy out of my 51 limit. You go ahead and assault Lincoln. You go ahead and assault Lincoln. Uh, Lincoln, Lancashire. And I've taken them. You go up to no. You go to Derby. You go to Cumbria. Right, we've taken Derby, go up to Yorkshire. And now we've taken Cumbria. Oh, and Marrakesh, nice. You go up to Ayrshire. You assault Yorkshire. Perfect, go up to Lothian. England is in our hands. You go down to Sus. Okay, what would Britain accept right now? Wait, isn't this an imperialism war? Wait, am I a defender? What's going on here? Imperial French imperialist war. Oh, this was me. This was my war with France. Great. Britain's just defending France. So I really can't afford to take a whole bunch of stuff from Britain. 
Let's see. Can't make them give up England, that's too much. Tyrone. That'd be all of Ireland. Uh, Scotland. All right, that's actually what we're going to change the focus of this to then. We're going to make Great Britain give up um, Scotland and Ireland. But we need to fight them more first. But you know what? You can march up to Gabu. Um, fleet, why don't you go to the naval base and get repaired? Alright, I've taken Aishur. You can go up to the Highlands. You assault Lothian. And go up to Fife. Diplomatic insult from Denmark. No, we'll try to ease the tension. Oh, Byzantium's not at war because that war is over. Good. Um. Demand annexation. I'll get seven for me for that. They have seven pieces of land now. One, two, three, four, five. And their two colonies, six, seven. Oh, well, not bad. I do. Oh, they reject it. Lame. Right, let's send a gift to Byzantium. And we'll send another colonist to Visayas, and we took the Highlands. Nice. When does Rome become our core? In seven, in like six years. Cool. And that's when we will move the capital. You go ahead and assault Fife. You march up to the Western Isles. And you go to Aberdeen. Alright. Um, we've taken all of uh, Britain. You can march down to Rio de Oro. You can go ahead and assault Gabu. Alright. Sue for peace. Demand tribute. Let's see, we make you give up. What comments? No. Monster and Tyrone and Scotland. We don't have claims on any of our land, so I don't care about making you give up claims. And your entire treasury. But on top of that, you give me get no. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, that is the piece. And they accepted. Perfect. Alright, I suppose the fleet should bring the boys home from Scotland. Tyrone, let's make a royal marriage. Munster, let's make a royal marriage. Scotland, let's make a royal marriage. Excellent. Oh no, there's a revolt in Moss. Oh. You. Um. March up that way. 
you go to um, Kabilia. Oh crap! Oh, a revolt in Moss. That's right. You go deal with that. Okay, you get on. Oh, we converted the heretics of Asir. Perfect. Alright, let's get a college in Onsbach, and Piedmont, and Lombardia, Malta, and Altwerk. And go ahead and start sending out more missionaries. Send one to Crimea, Crimea, one to Alison, and Orleanus, and Bourbon, and Limoisin. All right, Tyrone, be our vassal. Um, Munster. Yeah, because you're more than three. Yeah, same with Scotland. Oh, well. Tyrone rejected. Um. Yeah, drop this army off in... Vlendaren. Send another colonist to Sunda. I'm not giving up on it yet. And then a college in Lothringen. Alright, and then go pick up the other army that's in Aberdeen. Ooh, Agricultural Revolution. More taxes in Serbia. Excellent. I'm going to take you. Greece. Um, Balkans, actually. Go to Albania. Um, you go march to Damascus. That's what you're going to do. March across Morocco and across Northern Africa, all the way from the coast here up into Damascus. Oh, another revolt in Orleans. Oh, and Malta is a core now. Excellent. And a royal marriage offer to Byzantium, which they rejected again. And let's get some more colleges in Savoy and Reitbor, Breslau, Myrna, and Adana. And you go back to the base. And let's send another gift to Byzantium. And one to Tyrone. Oh, and apparently Leinster exists now. Right, looks like Tyrone accepted this time. Leopold Johann Broser. It doesn't matter at all which of these I choose. Um, because my prestige is currently at max and so is my stability. Let's just, let's just do the stability one then. Right, and a college in Tunis and one in Tripolitania. Let's 
let's get a missionary in Porto. One in Rusillon. One in Girona. In Perennio. And one in Aragon. And let's demand annexation from Byzantium. And they reject it again. Let's send them a gift again then. And let's demand annexation again. There we go. It's hard to rule from Vienna. Which is why, when we can, we're going to move the capital to Rome. Actually, no, that's because we want to legitimately be the Roman Empire. Byzantium no longer exists, so there is we, we no longer have our eastern rival. Even though they were our vassal, they still had a te very tenuous claim on being Rome. But now they don't. Excellent. And that's actually where we're going to end it for today. Thank you very much. This is Europa Universalis III, Holy Roman Empire, and I'm some guy you've never heard of. Unless, of course, you have. <laughs>